Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create a low poly sword in Blender. First of all, make sure that you have the plugin loop tools enabled because we're gonna need it. Select everything with A and delete it. Add a new cube with Shift A, go into edit mode with Tab, scale it on the Y axis with S Y, like this and add a loop cut with Ctrl R. Select the two bottom faces with Shift, press I to insert them, scale them on the Y axis with SY, press W, loop tools, circle, and extrude it on the Z axis by pressing E, like this. Select the four edges with Shift, and move them on the set axis by pressing G and Z, like this. Select the two top faces, inset them with I, and extrude them on the set axis by pressing E. Now the top has an angle, so scale it on the set axis to zero by pressing S, Z, zero, like this and extrude it once again, like this. Select the sides of the blades by pressing shift and scale them on the x-axis by pressing S, X, like this. To make a tip at the top, select the two top faces and scale them on the y-axis by pressing SY. If you don't like how long your sword is, go into wireframe mode by pressing set and choose wireframe. Select the top part with B, move it up with G and Z, like this. Let's add some details to the handle. Select the two bottom faces and extrude them just a little bit. Select the face loop by pressing Alt and clicking on it and extrude it along the normals by pressing Alt and E, like this. It's a little bit too small for me, so I'm gonna select the bottom faces. and move them down by pressing G set, like this. Select the two edge loops by pressing Alt and Shift and right clicking on it and press Ctrl B to bevel them. Like this. Let's do something similar to the top part. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut and move it up like this. Select the face loop by pressing Alt. Extrude along the normals by pressing Alt E like this. Select the edge loop by pressing Alt and bevel it by pressing Ctrl B like this. To imitate a low poly rope, add some loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. You can adjust the number of the loop cuts by using the mouse wheel. Select the face loops by pressing Alt and Shift. And extrude them along the normals with Alt and E. Leave the selection as it is and add a new material by switching to the materials tab. Add a new material. I'm gonna make mine brown, like this, and assign it by hitting assign. You can see the materials if you switch to materials view on the top here, like this. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl and I. Add a new material. I'm gonna make mine a little bit darker, like this, and hit assign. 
As you can see the whole sword is now brown, we don't want the whole sword to be brown, so select the faces that you want to change. I will make my metal parts golden, but you can choose whatever you want, add a new material, and choose the color. For that one I'm gonna turn up the metallic, like this, and hit assign. And the last one is a blade, select the faces. Don't forget the sides and the top. Add a new material, make it grey and hit assign. And that's it. Thank you for watching, I hope you could learn something in this tutorial. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe and we're gonna see us next time, goodbye!